I've learned that some jobs are best left to professionals, not me. I'll do oil changes and little things here and there, but we're doing the DCT fluid flush here at Wild Motorsport, and uh, I've read the procedure, I've read the forums, I've seen the horrors, I'm not doing this. I'll put a link below to FCP Euro because they provided this kit, makes it really easy so you don't have to go searching for individual parts. It includes five liters of the fluid, the filter, and all the accoutrement associated with that, plus a fill and drain plug. Let's see it in the back. So Woo! <laughs> oh, that aggressive yeah. upshift. Yeah. <laughs> Could not be softer. <laughs> Upon inspecting the underside of the M3, we're noticing there's some leaks and it's a little, a little wet down there. So we're uh, letting it cool off because we're gonna have to do that regardless. But um, we also need to inspect and find out what is leaking. Right now, it does not appear to be a remain seal. Very nice, do not wanna drop this transmission. But it looks like one of these like line in, line out hoses probably has a bad crimp or O-ring or something fairly simple. The leak does not look outrageous. However, I'm definitely going to be seeing some track time this uh, season, so what I don't want is for a small leak to turn into a large leak, and then I'll be the guy who both launches his transmission and closes the track for the day while they clean it up. I don't want to be that guy. Standing ovation when that happens, though. And then probably a swift kick in the ass. From... And a bill for speedy drive. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't want this to happen at Palmer. Let's grab some coffee and think about what we're going to do next. Since we found this leak, we need to find out exactly where it's coming from. There's some common spots that E92 DCT transmissions leak from, and a lot of times it's just around that plastic pan. There's a gasket around it, but it does not appear that that is the source. It actually looks like it's one of the hoses that's probably pulling fluid to a cooler or something. Sorry, I'm not the one to explain that, but it looks like it's coming from an O-ring or a crimp in that hose. So now that it's been all cleaned up, Evan cleaned it up with some brake cleaner so it's squeaky clean, and hopefully we can find the source of this leak once and for all. And once that's done, we can order the correct parts and do this DCT flush correctly, so that way it's not leaking when we get to the track. If I was Tom's keys, where would I be? Uh, it doesn't matter, it's comfort access. Well, oh, there they are right there. <laughs> yeah, but they have to be like in the car. Uh, in the car, but yeah. yeah. I did, I did have a There's somewhere in there. I did have a customer start. Uh, uh, she pulled in front of the shop with her car. I drove it into the shop, she left. I go to pull the car out. I'm like, where are the keys? We're already starting to see that it's leaking a little bit on its own just through gravity, but we're gonna let it run for a second just to get it to move some fluid, hopefully put a little bit of load on it, and then we'll really get to the bottom of where this leak is coming from. And obviously you don't wanna go too, too hard because we don't have fans going, so it's kind of like doing dyno pulls without any air. Feel me being graceful? As much as I love under trays, it really sucks because you can never tell if your car's leaking anymore. Until it's really leaking. Until it's really bad. N52, N54, N55 engines that consume the belt into the front seal. Uh, there's no real symptom. Uh, you know, drips oil onto the belt, causes the belt to swell. It doesn't smoke, it really doesn't leave a... It just gets caught by the belly pan. And your first, uh, your first too late symptom is low oil pressure on the dash. Rip. Rip. Any obvious signs? Uh, not, not any different than before we started it. Yes. Yeah, how about the, how about the, just the, like that looks a little wet right there. Oh yeah, it does. Which is just the drain plug, which yeah, would be dude. fucking glorious. Uh, I think which, it's like a quarter turn. I know, it doesn't make any sense though because it was leaking up here too, so. Gravity doesn't work that way as far okay. as I remember. Yeah. It was leaking as well. Best case scenario for anything leaking is that a drain plug is just loose. I don't know if we're gonna get that lucky, but I wouldn't mind. Eight Newton meters, torquing plastic parts. Oh wow. Oh, it had a ways to go? Yeah. Fuck you! Yeah. I want to buy all the O-rings to replace all these with. There's one there, and there's two in here. And we'll just buy those O-rings, we'll have you come back, we'll do your fluid flush. Can we make sure that the oxygen sensor is right in the way? <laughs> I mean, there's no other way to do it. Right, BMW? 
This project is to be continued. Looks like it wasn't leaking from anything too, too scary. It was probably just that actual drain plug, uh, but there definitely looked like there was some weeping from some O-rings on the hoses. So we've ordered all the O-rings, um, a new plastic pan with the gasket, all that good stuff. So that way we don't have to worry about leaky DCTs during this track season on my E92 M3. So we'll come back to Wild Motorsport to do the full job next week. Thank you so much for watching, liking, commenting, and subscribing. Go check out Jake and Evan at Wild Motorsport if you need stuff done on your M3 or whatever BMW you're driving in the Boston area. See you soon. And you know what the best go. thing is? The battery cable's from an E36. So you have an E36 part on your E92. God yeah, damn it. E36 parts. <laughs> <laughs> they don't make them like they used to.